Hi, and welcome back to Faculty FaceTime. Today we are at the Department of Psychology here at the University of Utah with Professor David Strayer, and he's been uh, involved in some very interesting uh, studies uh, regarding all of us, actually. Anybody who drives and thinks they can drive while they're talking on a phone or texting. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Strayer. Thanks. Yeah, it seems pretty obvious, though. I mean, if, if people are texting or looking away from the road, that it's going to pr you know, promote dangerous driving conditions. So why the need for an actual study? I mean, because it seems like common you know, logic that that kind of behavior is going to be dangerous on the road. Everyone sees people driving while they're distracted, they're talking on the phone, they're text messaging, they're doing something with their iPod. Um, and what we don't really have a good understanding uh, about until the research has been done is, is just how dangerous it really is. What we've been able to do is show that when you do the science, the people are quite impaired. Um, even people who think that they aren't, they think they're the exception. More, and more often than not, they're the person who really shows a, a very substantial impairment. And you've got a pretty interesting way of uh, conducting the study. You have a simulator here on campus uh, that is really kind of amazing. We got a chance to look at it, and, and, and it, it looks like the actual uh, inside of a car, the interior of a car, right. with a real console. Uh, with computer screens that kind of surround you and give you this uh, uh, multi-dimensional view of the road. Right. And, and tell us a little bit about what, how you use this tool in your study. Well, it's a, it, it is a very sophisticated driving simulator. It, it uh, um, has the interior of a Ford, so you have the steering wheel, brake, gas pedal, you start the car just like you would start a regular car. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can drive on the highway or the city and you can have vehicles that will cut out in front of you or traffic lights that change and you have to react just like you would if you were an attentive driver. In a couple of days, I think on the 18th, you'll, you'll be on the Oprah show talking right. about this very issue. And there will be families there that will talk about their experience about having lost loved ones because they were impaired, so to speak, while they were driving. Absolutely. I mean, so the, this, this, the story that uh, Oprah wanted to get out was that this is an activity that's really no longer acceptable. <laughs> Um, and it's just hard to be in the audience uh, when you see you know, 40 or 50 families who've lost a child or a, a mother or a brother or a sister um, because of someone who's been uh, was driving and talking on a phone. Uh, it, it, it kills and tears apart the family. Uh, it also, uh, the people who are driving, if they survive and they've been caught the cause of an accident, it devastates their lives. So it, it just creates all kinds of uh, you know, havoc in terms of uh, the, the personal costs are really very high. Um, and so that was, uh, and it, it was very nice to be able to uh, uh, participate uh, in the, in the uh, Oprah show just to kind of help get that word out. We're also working with uh, the Car Talk uh, people, uh, Tom and Ray, right. um, and partnering with them actually. So um, this month uh, we'll put together a University of Utah Car Talk website that nice. uh, looks at driver distraction. And um, Tom and Ray have already kind of put parts of their uh, pieces together, and we're working on our side to kind of put something together that will be something that will be distributed nationally via uh, national public radio yeah. uh, to um, everybody uh, as a forum for uh, educating people about uh, distracted driving in general, as well as a forum for people who've lost somebody to communicate with others and help kind of band together in a kind of a parallel way with the, the focus driven. Um, organization of, of families who've lost loved ones. Well, we do have some questions. Sure. And right along uh, the lines of what we're talking about here. Uh, this is from uh, Christoph. He says, uh, your studies have impacted legislation internationally that draw them while texting or talking should be banned. Do they have as great of an impact in the U.S. as they've had abroad? If no, why not? Um, they're having an effect. Um, not necessarily as uh, quickly in the U.S. as abroad, primarily because we're, we're a, a society that needs to be in the vehicle and commute for greater distances than a lot of, say, countries in Europe. We do seem to drive more and longer distances, right? right. just we because have, of the terrain of where we live. Right, basically so everyone, and it's not uncommon for people to have to drive a uh, half hour to an hour, hour and a half uh, each way during their commute, and, and uh, that's a phenomenon that doesn't uh, exist as much in Europe, for example. So uh, the kinds of activities and the kinds of ways to try and make that drive more productive just aren't as needed uh, in Europe. Well, we're just about out of time, but we do have one more question sure. uh, from uh, maybe Utah's greatest fan, uh, Swoop. Uh -huh. Who now you've already gone to the Oprah show? I have already, been. and it, again will be uh, be airing on the 18th mm -hmm. of January. That's right. Uh, but his question was, "Hey, Prof, I hear you're going to be on Oprah. What color M&Ms are you? Did you ask for in the green room?" 
You know, I wish I had this question in advance because because yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could have probably then I know I could have asked for my M and M's, but I I, I I didn't get any M and M's. I had a nice section of selection of cookies and fruit and drinks and stuff like that. And and the Oprah facilities are actually quite amazing. Just to, it's a, a facility about the size of the Marriott Library. Oh, okay. It's, okay. Uh, it's it's that big and it's just directed towards uh, the show. And they have tremendous, uh, incredible video editing facilities and cameras and stuff that just. Uh, um, that part of it was actually just quite amazing to see the, the infrastructure behind that show. Yeah, well, glad you made your way out there, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing that on the 18th. All right, that's about all the time we have today. We'd like to thank Dr. David Strayer uh, of the Department of Psychology for uh, kind of giving us some really good wisdom here and, 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 uh, and, and telling us about some very interesting studies going on at the University of Utah, and we'll see you next time.